You know what really grinds my gears? This Lindsay Lohan. Huh? Lindsay Lohan with all those little outfits jumping around here on stage. What is up, all my family out there in YouTube land? Appreciate y'all coming and chilling with your boy. Guys, if you could, please, if you like the content, drop a like. Share the video with your friends, your homies, your enemies, don't matter. Also, subscribe to the channel. Only if you like the content. You said that. Enough of that. Look good. We are now into week nine. Into our Where's the Beef segment. So, next up in my line of... Uh, freestyles and you know diss tracks was a Ja Rule diss freestyle a Ja Rule Eminem diss freestyle couldn't find anything that was specifically uh, about Eminem uh, the only thing I found around that time that was even a diss freestyle from Ja Rule was the Rap City freestyle from 03 um it fits. It fits the time frame. So that's what I'm going to roll with. But I got something special for you today. Because it is such a short kind of freestyle, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the next song in this beef. Which is Dr. Dre featuring Eminem and Obi Trice. Shit hits the fan. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've never heard either one. I'm super excited to see what it's about. I'm sorry, guys, if my, uh, if my voice is a little shot here, but your boy just got out of work. A lot of yelling and stuff, you know, getting people's attention, things like that. My voice is a little hoarse. It is what it is. It ain't gonna stop me from getting down with y'all. <laughs> so... Rap City, Freestyle, link to the original video will be in the description below. Let's get into it, y'all. I'm going to play this one. The Big Tick. I Rap City, the basement, Big Tick, G-Spin, Ja Rule. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We in the booth. Let's go. Um. Yo, basement freestyle in the booth on BET. Murdering the crews with the murder INC. Yes, another tick of fat freestyle creation. The new album is store, the last temptation. Bang, it's album number four in your store with my man Jaru keeping it raw. Step into the ride when the signs apply. With my man Jaru to come up and let it ride. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I'm a cop back real quick on him. Man, you notice how Ja comes up and he just totally like. Stops the flow. Let him know. Yo. Yo. Check. All your rappers need to get off my dick. I spit it how I live it. Plus the flow's real sick. Brock, you're leaving. I got killers range from Compton to Cleveland. Worldwide connected. Airtight. There's no breathing. Give me the reason. I put a hollow through your mental to give you this Holy Spirit. Send you to God's temple. I'm the avenging angel. And earth beat I claim. It's job beat I name. I know y'all all praying for the day to my diminishing. Why won't somebody finish him off? Put it right through his cross. The X is the 50s. Y'all gotta. All right. Well, I'm going to take that back real quick, man. But see, this is what I be talking about when I say Job Rule has flow, guys. He really does. Like, he's good. He can rap like the dude didn't sell millions of albums and, and, and create the bubblegum pop kind of uh, R&B pop stuff that he was. You don't do that if you're not good. For sure. Guys, my mans can rap. I'm not just straight up here to diss on Ja. Cookie Monster can rap, y'all. <laughs> Put it right through his cross, the X is the 50s, y'all gotta be kidding me, these is my sons, raised them from young, Curtis and Lil Earl, should have been little girls, since they made, and they act like, he said, I showed y'all how to come up, you my sons, I raised you, I don't know, it's not really that great of a diss, but, I mean, you feel it, like, I mean, in that culture, you know, saying that somebody's your son is pretty disrespectful, 
It is what it is. Like one of my itch beds, touche, the rule is more than ready, gun heavy, worldwide kidnapping, feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me attack you one more time, hold on. Yo, 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 the booth, baby. Mother, I want war with the guard, come on, y'all know better. I put holes through your leather, re knit your sweater, and I bet the flow's wetter than notion front property. Better come at me properly. It's better off popping me, but I believe I scared the clap them hammers And the fact that I'm unpredictable is me the advantage What the f*** am I speaking Spanish is? What I got to tell y'all in detail I be murdering Handle your business The end is religious Murder to sacrifice Keep throwing them yeah, That means murder for life And I'll die for that red and black The house with a cheddar stack Smiles my kid's face What can replace this? Come on, Stop. Get at me, niggas. Get at me The rule all right, so basically that was just... Oh, come on. That was just getting fun. I'm sure he was taking a shitload of heat at the time for not really hitting back all that well at him. I'm sure he was. So now this was like his proof. Like, look, motherfucker, I can do this. I can rap. I can spit. Look, I've said it from the beginning, guys. Yes, Cha can rap. He actually had a couple of songs before he went like bubblegum that I liked. I mean, he's been on a couple of features. I like. Dude can rap. He can rhyme. He's got wordplay. He's got skill. It just seems like when this dude comes up, he's like a flow stopper. And maybe that has to happen so that like it can reset for his flow. Are you for fucking serious, like, my That might sir. be what that is. Like, maybe he needs that, and that's how he you know, gets into his thing is to kind of remake it in his vision. I don't know if that's the right way to explain it, but uh, just kind of make set the table for him, basically. That's, that's the only thing I can come up with. It happens a lot with this dude. But that was the next up in the line of diss tracks. Ja Rule, I'm sorry, man. That was better than most. That was better than anything we've heard from this dude to this point. But, unfortunately, I can only give it a 6.9. Oh, God. He had some flow. <clears throat> Over that same tired-ass beat. Uh, but it just seemed like he created more conflict in the music then uh then he made it smooth and kind of listenable <laughs> but that's uh definitely not gonna be in my my it's definitely not gonna end that, that's a sleeper 100 percent a sleeper i don't know what to do i mean it's only a two minute bitch it's a freestyle what are you gonna do up to this point i think we're three jaw songs in I don't know, but I'll tell you this, y'all. What do you have to say? We finna jump right into it. Shit hits the fan. Let's see what Drizzy Dre, Emony, Emony M, and Obley Trice have to say about it. Dope in hopes of one day being able to own their own label and give the game up. Some niggas came up, some just didn't. It's just the way it is. If it ain't meant, it just isn't. Some niggas will get money and pay niggas to back them so they can act up. Feel comfortable and rap tough, and that's ass backwards. Cause them niggas just gonna keep coming back, and that's when extortion happens. You struggle to get free. I know how this shit be. You give anything to live a 
legitimately But you will find if you do get in this industry It's best to do business with me than against me Niggas get behind mics and ain't even MCs Niggas get on MTV just to diss me This shit don't even piss me off I'm laughing all the way to the bank Watching you satellite from a Bentley You niggas ain't even got a car You're so far under my Man, Joy said, fuck it Homie, I'm watching You can't even touch me, dog." Like, you're so little, it don't even make me mad. Your wife's a dude, faggot. I don't even watch this shit from my house. I don't even watch this from the crib, y'all. I watch this from the back seat of my Bentley. Sure. Shit, these days on YouTube, everybody got a fucking Bentley. <laughs> got Lamborghinis, Bentleys, it seems like. Shit's crazy. But yeah, Dre's, uh, he's killing it. He's killing it. Uh, it's a little bit longer of a verse. Than what I'm used to with Dre. I don't know. I haven't heard much in the way of this. We'll see what we're getting into. It looks like we got some stuff. Some stuff down there. My radar, I don't even know who the fuck you are to tell you to suck my dick while I'm pissing. I don't even listen to your shit to know who the fuck I'm dissing. The media this feeds into these views. Trying to add fuel to the fire. This little nigga jump boo talking about he's gonna slap me. Nigga, please, you gotta jump and swing up to hit me in the knees. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. He said you gotta... Oh, damn. He said you gonna slap me, dog. Is that how you gonna do? You gotta jump? And it swing up just to hit me in my knees, player. Come on now. Oh, shit. Hey, guys, look. Dre ain't never been like a sweet-ass diss track rhyme rapper type dude. Dre's a producer. He's a DJ who sometimes gets on a track and can spit. Have no doubt in my mind this was probably ghost-written. More than likely, not even ghost written. Probably written by M. <gasps> yeah, I mean, he's spitting bars. I mean, he's sitting at what? Like a, probably like a 24 bar right now. Trey's killing him. I laugh at these magazines when they interview him. All they doing is making fake threats to us more. And pussy, I'm <laughs> not Pac, I knew him. Pac was a real nigga. You just a fucking insult to him. It's too bad we... He said, you're not Pac, motherfucker. I knew Pac. You're just an insult to Pac. Googie, 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 start with That's a diss for your ass right there. And I know everybody in this beef has mentioned Pac somewhere. Dre actually knew that motherfucker. Dre worked with him, made albums with him. His voice goes a lot further in that aspect, in my head, in my opinion. He had to fall out before he passed Cause if you can see the shit now He be whooping your ass He talking to a pioneer Who engineered the shit for 19 years Who you got in your ear? I ain't even gotta say it The fans know Cause trying to be tough nigga You look like an asshole What you gonna do when shit hits the fan? Are you gonna stand and fight like a man? Will you be as hard as you say you are? Will you gonna run and get your body gone? Said, what you gonna do when shit hits the fan? Are you gonna stand and fight like a man? So it's you as hard as you say you are Well you gonna run and go get your body gone They say why don't we increase the peace The only peace increase is that which deletes your peeps Cause niggas run miles but they don't, don't run streets To that 4-5 and cease of speech Yeah it's a shame how the beef for creep Could've reached your peak Now you're left with a horrible leap I'm trying to be as bleak with my speech as possible Just in case a nigga Oh you motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> So Okay Look, I just want to kind of get this out there. I know Obi writes his own shit, but Obi's got a flow of his own. He pronunciates. Is that the word? Enunciates. There you go. He enunciates his words fully. He He's not like a T.I. where, you know, he'll leave the ass end of words off, you know, that southern slang. He's real, like... Like you can, he, 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 he's loud, he enunciates, he gets his point across, he's thorough. Like, there's some times where he can get real technical with it, but, I mean, most of the time, that, that's really all I'm paying attention to, is just more so than his words or who he's dissing, it's how he's rhyming, how he's rapping, and just if I can get to the flow. And unfortunately... To this point, 
Hope he's not striking me all that well. Idiot. Try to throw me an obstacle, nigga, I'm not boxing you, I'm hospitable. I put you in the hospital, that's how I get at you. Let the doc op on you, he don't rid you. You back on the streets, I send another hit at you. This is not a hypocritical issue, I will critical condition your tissue. Give a fuck if all ten of them with you. I throw an extra ten of them missiles, turn gangsters into gentlemen. Fico. And ever since them and them dissed you, I swear I see the women and bitching you. All he said... Ever since M dissed you, homie, I swear I see the girl in you. I swear I see the woman up in you, homie. Man, you the bitch. I see the bitch in your eye, player. Let's pick her in back and forth over who signs who. Curtis put your skirt up, nigga, you got murdered. Now take it like a man and shake it off. Damn. Said Curtis pulled your skirt up. You got murdered. What like, the fuck is going on? Okay, okay. I do not dislike Obi, I don't. I actually like him. But sometimes he can get a little bit too hectic with the enunciation of the words and being proper in his pronunciation of it. Yeah. And quit telling all these magazines your plans. How you gonna slap up my man's your fictions? Nigga, we send Stan to come murder your bitches. What you wanna do when shit hits the fan? My man said we send Stan to come murder your bitches. Oh shit. Are you gonna stand and fight like a man? Will you be as hard as you say you are? Are you gonna run and go get your body on? So what you gonna do when shit hits the fan? Are you gonna stand and fight like a man? And show us you're as hard as you say you are? Are you gonna run and go get your body on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go out behind go all the gangsters you want, nigga. Matter of fact, That one was definitely not my favorite. Why so Again, serious? I would have loved for M to have been on that track in a in a verse sense. Not not like he was on there. He was, you know, singing the hook. But um, not their best uh, their best look as far as the beef goes, guys. But one thing I will say: you listen to the jaw rule and the murdering disses. And then the Eminem and the Shady Aftermath disses. You can tell why Shady Aftermath won that beef, right? And that is simply, they're just having fun with it. Like, you listen to these Ja tracks, or you listen to these uh, Benzino tracks, and they're mad. Like, these dudes got them flustered. They're in their heads. And it took them out their game, I think. In my honest opinion... It means something. It, it shows different when you're just out there having fun, just clowning. And then, you know, you like, like, for instance, you and your sibling get into an argument as kids. What is the best way to make them mad? <laughs> By laughing and acting like you are having a good time and they are not phasing you at all. It's a fact. It is a fact. So, yeah, I mean, I liked a little bit of Obi's wordplay. He had the better of the disses in the song. But, guys, I mean, I'm going to give this song a seven. Yay! A seven E. Flat. You know, this is real hard for me, man. This is real hard. I'm not the biggest Obi fans. And it seems like that came off of Obi's album. But uh, I thought Dre, he killed it. He didn't have much in the way of disses until like the ass end of his verse. I thought he killed it though. I thought he was flowing. I thought like his shit was just smooth. Kind of what Dre has always been. 
you know, real technical, kind of smooth. I think M probably wrote his verse. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Obi, I mean, he did what Obi does. He, he just he pronounces his words great. He's, and, and that's not a shot against him. That's cool. I just don't like the way he seems to stop the flow a lot. Are you a fucking moron? I'm going to keep that track, y'all. That track is going to stay in my playlist. I am going to put it there and keep it there. That's a keeper, 100%. Well, guys, let me know what you think. Do you agree with my outlook on Obi, on Dre? Do you agree with my outlook on the beef in general? Let me know down there in the chit chat. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, y'all. Link to the original videos are going to be in the description below. My name is Jay Money. Out. I mean, to be totally honest with you, though, neither of them are all that great. Yeah.